Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions, your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nine serving you in class again today. How have you been? We are going to show you how you can um, extract address information from Google Earth. You know, most times what we use Google Earth for is to kill navigate to a point or maybe navigate to a set of points and then extract their coordinates and then maybe export them um, KML or maybe polygon or whatever the case is, right? Good. Now, there's something also about Google Earth that we can or you can also use to get the coordinates because most times those KML files you export, they have an um, attribute table, right? Good. And now in that attribute table, there is a column for those addresses. So if you want to locate those addresses or whatever the case is, you can actually use this um, tutorial to guide yourself. So we are going to search for a public place. Let's say um, federal, yeah, federal high courts in Nigeria, right? Good. So we are going to use that as our query. We are searching for the federal high court in Nigeria and then we click on search. So if you're coming to the channel for the first time, you can encourage us by subscribing. And if you are returning viewer, thanks for always them checking up on us. So from our query, or let's say from Google Earth, we have been able to identify how many of them here. Yeah, we have up to 10, right? Good. So if you can go to the next page, you can also go to the next page. If you want to go to the next page, rather, you can go to the next page, right? Good. So we have like um, 10 federal high courts as we have located from Google Earth. They can be more, they can be less you can decide to sort the data to see if um, there are more or maybe there are less of them right good so now since we have um, seen the results to our query yours can be maybe some commercial banks or maybe some e3s or you know, whatever public place or whatever location you want to search for you can just search for them and then you see what the difference or let's see the result right now the next thing is for us to what, copy what the current um, search results to my places now we have up to 10 as we've told you you know you can't start copying one after the other to your places before ever you start exporting them or maybe exporting them directly so by the time you see copy the current um, search results that's all the results we have here to my places it now brings it down what to your places right good now so when you click on my places you will see what the federal high courts in nigeria let's try to minimize this good you see federal high courts in Nigeria and different results that we have seen, right? Good. I think there are about 10 of them. Now, what do you do to get those um, address information? Now, this is a folder. So, you can just right-click on that folder and then you save places as, right? Good. Because it's now um, brought down to my places on what? Brought down to places and then on that places to my places on Google. So, you now right-click on that folder and you go to what? Save places as, right? Good. So um, you navigate to the folder where you want to save it on your device or let's say on your computer and then you can see the file name actually carries the query that we've actually used on Google Earth, right? Federal High Court in Nigeria. Then we don't need it, okay? Good, KML, not KMZ, right? Good, so we need that KML, not KMZ file. Then we save that. Good, so it has been saved, right? Good, you can also locate some of those points here on Google Earth, maybe the different geographic location. So now let's um, try to locate the KML file we've saved on our folder, right? All right, so this is the KML file we've saved, um, Federal High Court in Nigeria, and you can see it's so what's the KML file type. Now we can use um, different um, softwares to assess it. First off, we can use the default Google Earth. We can use any GIS package. And we can also use Microsoft Excel. So we are going to use Excel on this video. So now let's try to come to our Excel. Good. So now on Excel, we just go to File, Open. Good. So we navigate to the folder. We've saved our KML file. And then you can see now that it's only searching for Excel files. Whereas our KML file is not an Excel file. So we just, instead of using all Excel files, we select all files, right? Good. And we can now see our KML file. So we just click on that file. Either you double click or you click on it and you select open. The file you're trying to open is in a different format than the than specified by the file extension. So maybe you're trying to let us know that it's not an Excel file. So do we want to open it? Yeah. Good. So how are we trying to open the XML? Like how it's been seen or yeah, recognized on Excel. So we are trying to use it what 
as an as an XML table, right? So we just click on OK. Excel will create a schema based on the XML data source. OK. Good. So we have the attributes table as we are going to see or as we will see on any GIS software on our Excel, right? You know that um, Excel is actually a database. So from here, you can see the different columns, or let's say the different, yeah, the different fields, right? Different columns, and then you now locate where the address is. So this is the federal high court portal code, federal high court over here, federal high court. I think, okay, this should be Lagos, then this should also be Lagos, then this is Abuja, this is Ibadan, this is Uyo, Umaya, FCT again, then this is Asaba, right? Good. Now, the addresses are somewhere around here, so you can see nsi snippet and then you can locate the addresses here right so if you don't need some of these um results you can just select them let's see let's select up to this point and then let's delete those good so we have this is the name so you can just um, have this as the name or something right good. so let's have something like um, the name or the, uh, the name of the icon then this can be the address right good can just be our address good so that's the address right good then we come down again to this point we might not need this field neither do we need the coordinates but if you do need it you can actually go back to google it and get them and we don't need the phone number so we can also delete that right good so we have actually streamlined uh, okay let's also delete what this um, description we have that deleted we delete this too and I think we don't need this as well. Good. So we've actually sorted the data to what we need. We have what the name, let's say address one. If I think these two addresses are the same, so you can compare them to see which one is more elaborate that can help you locate what each of those um, icons, right? Good. So thanks for coming to class. We hope we have been able to show you how you can extract addresses from Google Earth, right? By you know bringing it to Microsoft Excel or any JS package where you can you know access the attribute table and then you can still export as a csv file or maybe a ship file or whatever the case is so we are going to see you on our next video until then keep staying safe and keep being good at what you're doing have a very good time bye